Hello again. Usual starting point of the Eastcliff car park, but we're not going to go down there today. We're going to do something completely different. Thank you very much. We're going to do something completely different. I'm going to walk up Woodway Road. Nice tree, which we haven't ever done. Not all the way up anyway. We walked down the bottom bit before, but not walked up it. So that's what we're going to do today. Right at Woodbury Road. It's up here on the left. So this is Dawlish Road that I'm on now, going up. And over there is Woodbury Road. Just get across to the centre while I can. Now Woodbury Road runs up almost parallel with Dawlish Road but does push across slightly to the left, stretches across to the left. So this is the very bottom of Woodway Road. Boys drive there to the left, as I've said before, back in the day. Some of the very, very posh houses in Timmouth, expensive new houses in the very early 70s, of course. There were lots of bees on that when I started filming. Now I can't see any. Here we go, got the junction to Galway. Remember that name Galway, it's gonna come into play a little bit later. That's um, Barn Park Road down there. And we carry on up the um, Buddha Road. That's the park in behind there, Barn Park Terrace Park, which we did go in the other day. Well, not the other day, but in a past walk. Here we go, that's uh, Barn Park Terrace down there old post box in the wall used to use that when I was younger carrying on up Woodway Drive to the left A view back down. And just here on the right is a very, very important house. There we go. Now, there's so much behind this place that I can't get it all, all coherent myself, so I'm going to link you to it. But um, that's known as Woodway House, part of the Galway estate back years ago. Owned at one point by an Admiral Spratt, who did a lot of work with Brunel, um, with the estuary and the beach sand levels in Tynmouth. Um, big story behind it, so I'm going to link in the description to the Wikipedia page all about this house. But um, yeah. Anyway, there we go. Before and now, of course. Here you go. So there we go. That's Woodway House. Very important connection to Timmouth. That's just up from Holden Avenue, here we are, on the left, that bus stop there. Used to be a bus stop where you could get a bus up to Hazeldown School, many years ago. 
That's the other school up there in the distance. The high school. Anyway, let's carry on. Huge houses here, look at that. Here we are in America at the White House. President Trump, is it? Oh, Biden, I don't know, I can't keep up with him. That's the White House anyway. Care home. One of the many care homes in Timoth. We don't exactly have a shortage of care homes. Nothing wrong with that, of course. If you need to be going to a care home, you need to go into a care home. And it's good to have some choice. We're going to talk about another care home in a minute, but that's not till we get right to the top. That sign must be really, really old. I remember that from the early 80s. This is the neighbourhood watch signs came up. Crazy. Probably one of the originals. Oh look, Brunel Close. Never heard of him. Wonder who that was. Churchill Drive off to the right, leading to Winston Court and Grove Court. That bench has been there for as long as I can remember. Possibly even that exact bench by the look of it. And this is the end of the thin part of Woodrow Road. Because in a minute you'll see it's going to open up really wide. Here we go, just up here. It's like a different road. There you go, so I told you it opened up, didn't I? <laughs> Nearly at the top now. There's a new road going along there. But uh, just for a second, I want you to pay attention to the flats over there. Now they're relatively new and they haven't always been here. That used to be a retirement home, surprise, surprise, called Neilston. Very nice one actually. In fact, my very own grandmother spent her last days there. And um, when my son was tiny, spent many, many visits taking him up to see her. And we used to pull in there. And yeah, he had a good he had a good good time. She did there. They looked after her well, never had any complaints. Because it's gone now. Gonna see if I can do you a quick picture of it. Oh that house there. That's um Brenner's from the pier, the people that own the pier. Right, I'm going to cross over the road, see if I can get a then and now from across the road. Anyway, there it is now, and cut to the old photo. That is how I remember it, of course. Good old Nielsen. And that is the top of Woodrow Road. Now just over here, we've got Upper Woodbury Road, which doesn't really go anywhere other than to the houses that are up there, or to cutting across to the top by exit road, which I don't really want to do, but that's a quick glance up there. And we'll cover this again on a different day because we're gonna go back this way to the right today and carry on a long new road towards Dawlish Road where they meet up again. With a little old post box. And this is more close.
very nice. Now, as we carry on along here, and the road just sort of curves around slightly ahead of me, just up by the uh, power post, and there's that yellow house there, just by the blue van on my right. That pretty much used to be it for houses along here when I was younger. Everywhere on my left was like green spaces pretty much, where you couldn't build. And um, most of the fields on the right belong to the nunnery and the abbey that was up here. So they couldn't be built on. Well, of course, progress, progress. Stops for no man. So now we've got some of the biggest, newest housing estates on both sides. Hello. Funny place for a mirror, so low down. Possibly one of the last of the original houses on this road from years gone by, before we get to the new builds. St Michael's Road, some older houses here on the left, but that's okay. Well, of course it's okay, but I mean, it doesn't sort of contradict what I've been saying, because we're just going to get to the new build bit in a minute. Spray Point House. No, I need a spray point, mate. You're having a laugh. So here we go, looking over to the right, you can see just the roofs of all the new builds. They put a hedge up, obviously, so we can't see them, but they're all in behind there, where that car's coming out of. Here we go, just peep, peep through a gap in the hedge on my left. These are the new builds I was on about. So here, this is all fields. All new builds here. Never really looked at these myself, to be fair. Anyway, I'm in someone's sort of space now, in my mind. So I'll step back out onto the main road. There we go. There we go, that's the other side. Highgrove Park, but it also says Abbey Mount on the wall there, because of the Abbey. See, I'm not making stuff up, you know. Ah, there was an Abbey, honest. Now the road here used to carry on straight, even before the builds, and the original road would have gone there, but you can see the red and the blue car. I'm like taking the original road now as I'm walking, not turning down to the right. There we go, that's the original road layout, went down there. But say even before the new builds, it was adjusted to bring the road over this way slightly, so it was a bit of a better junction at the top there, a bit safer for everyone. But as I say, when I was younger, that was the original road over there on the left. There we go, walking down the original road here. To what was the junction once. And of course, those of you that follow my walks regularly will know probably by now that I'm kind of where I come out at the top of Mules Park and then I take the Holcomb Road down to the Smugglers Lane, which I'm about to do now. I've just approached it from the opposite side today, that's all. So I just keep the camera rolling until I hit the main road. There we go. And that there, that road there, that's where I normally come out and start walking down. There we go. Cliff Road takes us to the top of Mules Park. Oak Hill Cross Road. Where me auntie used to... Noisy, noisy, noisy. Oak Hill Cross Road where my auntie used to live before she moved to the back beach in the 80s. Both those houses have like little huts on the roof. Obviously it's for roof access, but I like to think it's a little garden shed they put up there instead. Keep the lawnmower. Here we go, Minidab. Means we're in Holcomb, or well, nearly. I will come down here one day and take the left and actually go through down through Holcomb. But we'll save that for another day. Always good to have something in the bag for when I'm looking for something to do. Anyway, walking down, still. 
nice to see the flowers growing wild at the side of the road like that in the urban environment I'm not going to go too mad filming down here today because I don't want the video to be too long it can be a bit of a chore if I'm presenting you with a half an hour's worth of video I like to keep it a bit more concise 10 to 15 minutes is ideal for me dead brush head R.I.P. brush bush on my left is still not overgrown the side path, sidewalk, oh, I'm showing the American in me the sidewalk, has not overgrown the pavement yet, still cut back nicely, I can remember coming down here last year and you could barely walk on the pavement, I was nearly walking in the road because there was so much bush, there's Holcomb, I can't really see what I'm filming until I'm stood up on a bank holding the phone above my head but hopefully I'll get the shot I'm looking for. I have to wait to cross the road for a little while I think to get to Smuggler's Lane. Oh, there we go, not too long. And down Smuggler's Lane. I think we're back to the wind now. Marvellous. Salty dog. And still very high sand on the beach. Something about pirates on the flag. Listen to those waves, beautiful.
going to head back onto the seawall now. Empty out my right shoe, which apparently has got half a beach in it for some reason. And carry on my walk up there where it's easier to stop step. Just missed that train. I was walking up the steps as it came past. Anyway, it's empty my shoe out and get going. And that's better, much easier to walk up here. Especially with all that sand out my shoe as well. They're brave. Hopefully they don't get too wet. First train of the day. Compton Castle, I saw that. Didn't see the second one. Well, I think they made it okay down on the um, lower pathway. Wouldn't have liked to chance it myself. But there they are up there in the distance, safe and sound. So no harm, no foul, eh? Good for them. Missed the start of that train because I was on the phone. Never mind. It was nice of him to slow down so I could get a good shot. Very good of him. Well done, sir. You're a scholar and a gent. I think that's it for the trains and the seawall today. Just going to pop into town. Quick errand to run. Not sure if I would do much filming though because oh, there we are. I love a train. Always one to, just to round me off, isn't there? Lovely. 500 something it says, isn't it? I'll have to pause that and see what that said in green when I watch the video back. Anyway, so I don't want to make this too long today. So I'm going to go into town and do my bits and bobs. It's like buses, isn't it? Just when you think you've seen your last train, they drag it back in. Ha ha. Well, there we go, like I said. Just a little bit of the town as I pass through. Got what I got I had to get. So that's good. And there we go. With that, I shall love you and leave you. Hope you enjoyed a slightly different walk today. A couple of areas I haven't covered before. Be sure to check out the Wikipedia page about Admiral Spratt and Woodway House because there's loads of interesting stuff on it, it really is. Meant to do it for a while, but I've never had any reason to sort of go up there before, so I thought I'd make a point of doing it today. Anyway, catch you tomorrow. Same time, same place. Take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Bye.